caught on camera. You're going to see it right there. There it is, a bobcat strolling through a valley neighborhood. It is at least now the third sighting of a wildcat in that area in the last four days. Maria Hetchnova live near Chandler and Desert Foothills Drive with more on this. And Maria, what should people do if they see one? Well, Arizona Game and Fish says do not make these bobcats feel welcome. They may not seem threatening, but if rabid could attack you. They also say they're not surprised to see them in this Ahwatukee neighborhood. This golf course means that they don't have to go far for food. There's a bobcat buzz in this Ahwatukee neighborhood. I'm not overly worried. Am I surprised? Yes, just because in my 10 years I haven't seen any, just lots of coyotes. This morning, a man who lives near Pecos and 24th Street caught the cat on surveillance camera, casually walking by his front door. On Friday, two people posted these photos, one of a bobcat walking in front of a garage, the other looking through the fence into someone's backyard. More likely, they're being seen more often. But why? Arizona Game and Fish spokesperson Darren Julian says they're getting more comfortable around people who are feeding their prey like birds. Plus, if you live by a golf course. When you add green grass to the desert, you're going to increase the prey population. So more rabbits, more birds, things like that for uh, more food available for these bobcats. But another reason why you might see them more. Certainly this time of year, uh, the kittens are starting to get more active and stuff, though. Um, and it could be, you know, these animals you know, having more mouths to feed. They may be a little more active. And even though the 25 pound bobcat may look cute, Game and Fish says it's best to scare them away or else they may eye your small dog or cat or your neighbor's pets as a meal. If they're frequenting your home, your backyard and stuff though, and they're getting very comfortable, uh, just turn the hose on them, soak them down. It may take you a couple times of, you know, getting them really wet uh, before they get the message that this is not the place where they want to be. So let these bo recent bobcat sightings remind you to just really keep a close eye on your pets. Arizona Game and Fish officials tell me that they won't get involved in removing the bobcats or doing anything unless they are aggressive to people. Reporting live in Ahwatukee, Maria Hetchinova for Arizona's Family.